Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the all new Hummer EV. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this Hummer EV. And by the way, they actually have several for sale right now. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for David. And something that I really want to emphasize if you are currently looking for a Hummer EV, you're probably going to see a bunch of used Hummer EVs for sale right now. None of them have warranties on them because if someone flips the Hummer EV, AKA they go and buy it and then try to resell it as a used Hummer EV, then GM actually voids the warranty. And so the only way to get a Hummer EV with the warranty intact is to purchase it brand new from a GMC dealer like National GMC. So just kind of know that as you're uh, doing your whole research and buying process with the new Hummer EV. Anyways, with that all being said, let's get into the video. Now let's quickly go over some performance specs before we dive into the Hummer EV. So we have a tri-electric motor setup, a 212.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is absolutely enormous. Just over 300 miles of full electric driving range, about a thousand horsepower and 1200 pound feet of torque. And because this weighs about 9,000 pounds, it's actually classified as a heavy duty vehicle. So it's not rated by the EPA at all, which is fitting because it's a Hummer. Now we're actually gonna start with the key fob here for the Hummer EV because it actually says Hummer EV here in the back and then GMC. You guys can see we've got the unlock function, the lock function, remote start, drop down for the tailgate and then the opening here for the frunk. And just like the F-150 Lightning, it is fully automated. And I've noticed with these fully electric trucks, the frunks are kind of uh, on the slow side to open up, but whatever. Anyways, you guys can see everything that comes with this from brand new and it actually has a decent amount of storage space up front, which is pretty impressive. We of course have our little escape button right there. I love it shows a car. It'd be cool if they did like a little Hummer decal, but I'm sure that would make each Hummer cost like an extra dollar more and we can't have that, right? But now to actually get the frunk to lower down, you have to press it twice again and then actually hold it. So it's actually gonna go back up because I kind of slightly pulled it down. So you have to hold the button down and then that's what will actually pull it down. So just kind of know that and then it'll fully latch into place, you can hear it. It'll give you the little light show and then that lets you know that everything is down. Now let's go over the front end of the Hummer EV. Now this is obviously the edition one, just like every other Hummer you've probably seen on YouTube. So you can see the black accent here at the top and then we do have the Hummer lights here on either side, which is pretty cool. And then we have the giant light bar here that also contains the whole turn signal setup, which is, I don't know, I, pretty cool overall definitely unique and i mean it is just crazy and i love how it like comes on sequentially rather than all at once and then the headlights actually in the bumper which is very unique i think this is one of the first vehicles that has like a split light design that i think actually looks really good and then as the bumper is all blacked out we have these crazy massive front tow hooks which it makes sense they have to be beefed up to be able to you know, pull out a 9,000 pound truck if need be. And then we do have a front camera there, parking sensors as well. And then we do have skid plate protection underneath. Now in normal mode, this has 10.1 inches of ground clearance, which is serious ground clearance for an off-roader. You have an extract mode that'll bump it up to like 15.9 inches of ground clearance, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Like that's more than a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. That's more than a Ford Raptor, like just, yeah, insanity. And overall, there's the front end. Now, coming on the side here, we do have 35s wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And notice the design on the wheels, it has that cool off roader type appearance. And these are the exact same tires, well, pretty much the exact same tires as what I have on my Ram T Rex. It looks like they're slightly narrower because the size is 305 and my T Rex has 325 uh, in terms of the width. But regardless, really good tires, like tread patterns, really aggressive. And I can tell you, being the owner of a very heavy, off-road truck with tons of power these tires somehow can withstand crazy driving anyways we do have air suspension with the hummer and that's how you get that adjustable ride height and then you guys can see here with the fender flares how that's all blacked out we have our hev logo here on the side and then you guys can see with the mirrors how those are body painted and then notice here with the steps how they're fixed but they also double as rock rails which is pretty cool and then here's your full side view and if you guys are wondering from a size perspective, everyone talks about how massive the new Hummer EV is. And yes, it is a big pickup truck, but in terms of like the length dimensions, it's the same size as a half ton pickup truck with a short bed. Now width wise, it's more like an F-150 Raptor, but it's not like the size of a heavy duty truck, even though it weighs as much as a heavy duty truck. We are back to the key fob here, so I'll press this a couple of times. Now we have a payload capacity of 1,306 pounds and a towing capacity of about 7,500 
pounds. And then this particular one actually has the spare tire carrier here for the bed, which has a really cool look to it. But if you guys will notice, there's plenty of space where you could technically purchase a second holder, put that in and then have two spares. So you'd have that cool like Baja truck appearance in the rear. And then this does have uh, GM's multi uh, pro tailgate setup. So the button's off to the side, um, but it gives you the step. Now, just like on the regular GM trucks, like a GMC Sierra, it has a 375 pound weight limit. This one comes with a kicker sound system. Pretty cool feature and then to get it up so just click that into place that's usually the easiest thing to do and then just lift it all up at once kind of like a bicep curl and then that's how you can get it back into place now finishing things up with the rest of the rear i think the taillights here on the new hummer ev definitely look pretty interesting again boxy to go with the overall design and notice hummer logo is a lot bigger than the gmc logo and again beefy tow hooks on this got pretty normal receiver hitch down below and then you guys can see underneath here with the whole suspension setup and just look how beefed up everything is i mean obviously it has to be because this has to be able to withstand the crazy power figures that this has but also you know the off-roading that it's able to do so it's pretty impressive everything that's uh, underneath now here's the door panel in the rear and i love the interior here on the edition one i think it looks really cool and you guys can see from material use perspective it's not necessarily like you know super high-end leather they definitely went for like utilitarian uh with the materials basically which i think is really cool i love like the chunky handle right there to pull everything in but you guys can see the seats They've got some nice leather on it and some of the uh, trim that you guys can see there on the side of the door panels also here on the seats as well. And then just like most GM trucks, you have like the behind the seat storage and then, you know, under seat storage. And then again, those side steps help out quite a bit with getting in. Look at that. I mean, just like a GMC Sierra, it's got tons of room. And then you can see a little storage pocket there, climate controls here for the rear heated seats. We've got some vents as well and well, cup holder armrest, but it's behind the seatbelt, so you guys gotta just trust me, cup holder armrest. Perforated, by the way. And then we do have the removable roof, so you guys can see the tabs right here, so that you can take off the different panels here, and then you can also do it with the front as well. And that's another cool feature about this, is it's basically like an electric Wrangler, but obviously a lot cooler. Anyways, let's head to the front. So here's the front door panel. I love how it says Hummer EV right there. And then again, same thing with the material use. Again, it has that like utilitarian appearance. And we do have our memory seats right here and then all of the window controls, the mirror adjustments. Here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. They're very boxy. And then I didn't show the speaker in the back, but the speaker in the front looks identical to what you have in the back. It's cool because it has like the moonscape design, which is definitely fun. And if you guys don't believe me, here's our stickers. 1306 and then 7500 with the towing. And then front seat, again, notice perforated Hummer EV there. And you guys can see the material is all down the center. And then here's our power adjustments. And then pedal layout. And then we do have a bunch of controls here. So we've got like our parking brake here, giant vent, by the way, that's so interesting. And then that's to open up the frunk and then the tailgate and then your lane departure. That's to roll down all the windows at once. And then your cargo light, that's for your outlets. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. Now here's the steering wheel for the Hummer EV, and yes, it does come with Super Cruise, which you can use on the interstate. It's basically a self-driving system. Pretty neat. And then you guys can see you've got some controls for the center stack, radio controls in the back, just like other GM vehicles, Hummer EV. And then you've got like the, you guys can see the steering assistance, cruise control. And then this is for the regen to make it uh, more or less aggressive, basically. And then you have your turn signal, slash light stock, windshield wiper stock. And also, notice Hummer EV again. There's, there's lots of Hummer EV logos all over this truck. So here's the center gauge cluster. It's a full digital gauge cluster. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Now it does show you different bits of info here off to the side, just like most other modern vehicles. So honestly, nothing too crazy with that. But yeah, the overall like layout, I think I think is pretty neat. And you guys can see 100% charge right there. Well, not 100% actually. We're just below. I guess it says 100. Okay, so we're just below 100% rather. And then you guys can see 300 miles <laughs> range. Wow, I'm having a rough day today. There you go. Now here's the center infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera system. And this is GM's 360 camera system, which is fantastic. So you guys can see out of every single angle of the Hummer EV, it's absolutely 
fantastic. And something that I want to mention while we have the camera system pulled up here is the overall maneuverability here with the Hummer EV, despite the fact that this is a really big truck, because it has the uh, four wheel steering system, rear steer, right? It is really, really maneuverable and you can actually feel it uh, working, which is pretty cool. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, you have like your shortcut bar here on the side and then you have like the main screen, which again has like the kind of, you know, Hummer look on it. You guys can see like the little icon right there, for example. But again, it ultimately is very similar to GM's other infotainment systems. Notice we got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And by the way, let's pop into that little off-road tab. So you guys can see... <laughs> max drift 22 degrees I, I love it when automakers put stuff like that in um but like literally anything that you'd want to do you guys can see like air down you can do that automatically like there's just so much off-road tech thrown into this that it's it's just fantastic and it's cool like everything that you can see and it really does like bring off-roading into like i guess you could say like the modern era or into the future because it's it's quite a bit of stuff like back in the day it was like you just go on a trail and you deal with it whereas now like you can see everything that's happening i almost forgot this also does have the cameras underneath which is super unique <laughs> like i don't know if that's necessary but it's it's definitely it's definitely cool that it has that. But anyways, down below, we've got a bunch of controls here for the climate system. Uh, pretty straightforward. So like if I want to increase or decrease temperature, and I love the little animation on that. Now the seats are a little bit more complex. You press this tab and then it pulls up the seat tab and then you can decide what you want to do from a seat perspective. So yeah, you know, kind of interesting with that whole setup. And then we have more toggle switches down below. So you've got this for the parking assistance and then your parking sensors, stability control, hazard lights. And then this does have lockers one of them is actually a real locker the other one uh, basically uses the electric motors to mimic a locker which is pretty cool and then your heated steering wheel control and then you got more vents down here trailer brake controls as well already integrated and then as we have our wireless phone charging pad and some storage space beneath that whole setup right there then we have our shifter which if you guys have seen my reviews on the new gmc sierra's same shifter i mean it has cool materials on it though more cup holders We'll go over this whole thing in a moment and then use the center console. And source space is actually really good. And then there's the glove box. And then you guys can see here with the dash. Again, tons of white. We do have the camera mirror, which is fun. And then we're going to talk about the top. So there's, I guess, another look. Okay, so the big thing with this dial is first off the drive mode. So you just have to twist it for that. And then they will actually pop up here on the infotainment screen. Um, you get cool animations. So you got your my mode, you have your off road mode, your terrain mode, your tow haul mode. And then your normal mode that you can go through and it has again it's just it's just cool the animations you go through now if you guys are wondering the difference between off-road and terrain mode basically off-road modes for like higher speed off-roading terrain mode is for rock crawling essentially and then you guys probably noticed here for the air suspension to raise and lower it manually if you want to do that and then this is for the four wheel steering so it'll pop up over here so you guys can see rear steering off auto so you can do that and then if i hold it down then the crab walk will pop on and that obviously makes it so it yeah you can you can it, it does the crazy driving thing I, I did it in my other review with the hummer ev so just look up ben hardy hummer ev and then that will pop up if you guys want to see that and you guys have probably seen it all over social media anyways but you just have to hold this down to activate it so if you're wondering just for a little bit gives you this it's kind of a kind of a whole it's kind of a whole thing i will say though I, I i think it's interesting you have to like hold down things here with the hummer ev for like everything like crab walk you guys saw at the front like they want you to hold stuff down now this is the first time i've actually had a chance to see the window sticker for a hummer ev um so you guys can see the warranty information three or thirty six thousand mile bumper to bumper eight year hundred thousand mile on the electric propulsion component <laughs> interesting but like i said if you buy a hummer ev that's been flipped you don't get that warranty so yeah, just understand that. And like I said, this is technically a heavy-duty vehicle because look at that. You have like the normal heavy-duty ratings rather than the, it's, it's it's interesting. But anyways, base price is $108,700. Total MSRP, $115,439. Obviously, these are going for closer to like $200,000 in today's market in terms of uh, what I've seen with the used ones, which is crazy because again, they don't have a warranty and they're selling for two hundred grand. Like who's paying $200,000 for a Hummer EV with no warranty? warranty on it 
Now, the last thing I want to mention before I sum up things with this review is the build quality on this Hummer EV is substantially better compared to the first one that I reviewed. Like, everything, like, just fit and finish wise looks fantastic there's no like weird rattles or weird sounds and so this i guess being a slightly later build date with the hummer ev definitely like just is a huge improvement from a build quality standpoint so i, I just thought i'd make that point because like i can actually perceive <laughs> a difference between uh both of the trucks i've reviewed so far that's gonna sum things up with our video on this new Hummer EV and with that being said again a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork Utah for giving me some time with this Hummer EV. If you have any questions just ask for David and again if you want a Hummer EV that actually has a warranty reach out to National GMC. I'll see ya.